Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So on the agenda tonight, we're taking a trip down memory lane because we're going to be having a look at Wings of Pegasus first ever gig. This is a real life story, a story from my past. We're going to have a look at the footage and see how we got on. And remember, this really happened. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited, I have just managed to get us an awesome gig. Well, I do hope our definition of awesome coincide. Well, I know. A guy, who works at a pub and he said we can play there. This Friday night. You know a guy. So far, to be honest, I'm on the fence about this gig. Persuade me. Where is the venue, will I have heard of it? The pub is called the, Golden Guff. It is in Surrey. My friend has told me it will be amazing. We need this gig. Well, it certainly sounds like a reputable joint. It's about an hour's drive, but I'm going to trust you on this. Let's book the gig. We won't regret it. The place will be packed. I can't wait. Wowzers, this pub really looks like a library. Hello there. Do you work here? Yes, I do. Um, yes, we do need help. Thanks for asking. We are the band who are playing here this evening. What is the plan? Are you sure there is light music tonight? Well, I ruddy hope so. If not, my bandmate has yet again stitched me up as well as himself. So, who is in charge? I am the only person working here tonight. Well, at least we know therefore it will not be busy tonight. Great. Where is the stage and we'll start to set up? Well, whenever someone has played an acoustic guitar, they have been sitting here, so you can play in this area. Oh my... Guff heck of frick. You may actually notice there are tables and sofas in the way, not to mention just being a woeful position for music. I'm afraid you'll have to move the table and sofas out of the way then. Well, as I'm a musician and I want to play, I will do this manual labor in addition to the hour's drive. I also assume we are not getting paid for this gig. That is correct. At least you're holding up your end of the bargain. Well, let's get to work guys. These sofas look like the heaviest sofas we will ever lift in our lives. I'll leave you to it and I'll make sure that if you need anything, I will be impossible to find. Many thanks for following standard protocol. Great job guys. It only took an hour and I think I've got a hernia. But I'm sure it will all be totally worth it and not a gig we should have declined. Just the person I was looking for. So, where is the PA? Is it quite heavy to lift? And also how many channels does your mixer have? We don't have a PA here. Ha 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 ha. That was a fantastically great joke. Wasn't it? Or should I say, it better have been. No, what you see is what we have. That I'm afraid is sweet guffall. Well, what do you usually do on live music nights then? Jacob usually does all the band stuff. He's not here today, but I have his number if you want to talk to him. That might be an idea. At least every last detail of this gig has been meticulously planned by the venue, otherwise we could all look like absolute total amateurs. Hello Jacob, I'm Phil from the band that are playing at your pub tonight. Where is the PA? And the mixer? For the gig? Okay, so it's in your car. And you are in your car at the moment. And you're five hours drive away. Do you think this may be an issue? Considering we're playing in 45 minutes, you didn't realize what the time was? Oh well that is a very acceptable excuse. I mean, how could anyone ever have foreseen these unlikely turn of events? Unbelievable. So here is the situation. The PA is 5 hours away. We have 45 minutes until we start. So this venue has quite truly 
Roger our collective bums in the guff. Oh dear. I can't help feeling partially responsible for us being in this position. Yes, I wonder why that is. Just so you know, your friends and family are also just starting to arrive. They must have made the hour-long drive to support you. Oh. Great. Well, as ridiculous as this sounds, I have purchased my own PA, so that if a music venue is retarded enough to not have any equipment, I have everything. It just so happens it's in my sister's boyfriend's van, who should be here shortly. So, it seems that you as a collective venue won't have egg on your face. You jammy dodgers. I don't understand. Oh, just that to the innocent onlooker, you'll look like you have a great PA system and are a great live music venue, when in fact you are actually a total load of rubbish guff venue. With no idea, and couldn't organize a piss up in a brewery. Present location accepted. No offense. None taken. You. Are seriously mentally vacant. I'm going to slag off this pub to my family now. Bye.